official na ang Xiaomi 13 sa global market. Ngayon, very obvious naman dun sa design and features ng Xiaomi 13 na gusto talaga nilang labanan ang Galaxy S23 ng Samsung. So, ang tanong ngayon siguro na maraming tao, mas sulit ba to kaysa dito? The Xiaomi 13 is very different from the Pro version. Obviously, number one, mas maliit siya. Flat ang gilid, harap at likod ng Xiaomi 13. May iPhone 13 vibes yung design niya, though agaw tingin talaga yung higanteng camera module sa likod. Yung flat design ng phone plus its smaller overall size makes it easier to hold than the considerably bigger and heavier Xiaomi 13 Pro. The smaller size of the phone also makes it easier for people with smaller hands to use the Xiaomi 13. Actually, kahit yung mga katulad kong sobrang laking mama, I still feel that the Xiaomi 13's compact size is right for me. Uh, mas madali kasi siyang hawakan, mas madali siyang gamitin pag one-handed. Kahit, so, kahit mas maliit siya kaysa sa Xiaomi 13 Pro, mas preferred ko yung handling and ergonomics niya. Ang hindi ko lang siguro nagugustuhan sa design ng Xiaomi 13 is yung size ng camera module niya sa likod. Sa totoo lang, ang laki niya, bigger than the ones we've seen on other flagships released this year. Medyo nakakausi siya pag nilapag mo na sa table yung telepono. Maganda yung back panel ng Xiaomi 13, pero sobrang fingerprint magnet siya, especially if you get the black version. May kasama naman silicon case yung Xiaomi 13 pag bili mo, pero sa totoo lang, yung design na to medyo pipitsugin, hindi siya fit dun sa high-end vibes na binibigay sa'yo ng telepono. At dahil flagship phone siya, may IP68 water resistance din siya, katulad ng Samsung Galaxy S23. Kung napansin mo, may Leica branding yung higanting camera module ng Xiaomi 13 sa likod. There are three cameras in the giant module at lahat sila may silbi. Yes, walang inutil na 2 megapixel depth camera dito. Unlike the 13 Pro, the vanilla variant uses a flat panel. The 6.36 inch Full HD Plus OLED panel display is one of the brightest in the industry right now thanks to its 1900 nits of peak brightness, which is more than enough to see the display under direct sunlight. The panel has 120Hz refresh rate, Dolby Vision HDR10+, Plus, lahat ng high-end features that you'd expect in a flagship panel. In short, wala kang marereklamo sa display ng Xiaomi 13. That being said, pag side by side mo yung display ng Xiaomi 13 at ng Samsung Galaxy S23, medyo mas bias pa rin ako sa Samsung Galaxy S23. So obviously, one of the main businesses of Samsung is making displays for other phones. And very obvious naman yung pinakamaganda nilang panel, ilalagay nila sa sarili nilang flagship. So katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung Xiaomi 13 ay may tatlong camera sa likod. 50 megapixel shooter with a Sony IMX800 sensor, which also comes with OIS. A 10 megapixel 3.0 times telephoto lens with OIS. And a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now Xiaomi says that its partnership with Leica includes both software and hardware. Although we have no idea how deep the hardware integration of Leica is on their phones. Pag ginamit mo telepono, you will be given two shooting modes to choose from. My Leica Authentic at my Leica Vibrant. Yung Leica Vibrant, pinupush up niya yung saturation, yung color para mas mag-pop yung mga images mo. Yung Leica Authentic, obviously, is more closer to the actual colors and saturation that you see in real life. Take note na lahat ng pictures na papakita namin sa review na to ay kinuha under Leica Authentic. So the 50 megapixel main sensor is capable of taking fantastic photos in both bright and low light scenarios. There's plenty of detail in the shots and the dynamic range is pretty spot on. There's some loss of sharpness and contrast in the corners of the shots, but you really do have to look for it to see it. The ultra wide camera produces fairly decent photos, but it's not really in the same caliber as the ones that we've seen on the Galaxy S23. The zoom camera also takes fairly good photos even at five times zoom, but there's noticeable post-processing in those images, which affects the final result. The front camera is a 32 megapixel deal and does reasonably well in most lighting conditions. The Xiaomi 13 can also take 4K footage up to 60 FPS or 8K footage up to 24 FPS. Though it would be better to stick with 4K footage. So siguro yung tanong mo, mas okay ba ang Xiaomi 13 kaysa sa Galaxy S23 pagdating sa pagkuha ng photos? Actually, mas lamang pa rin yung sa Samsung Galaxy S23, pero not by much. May lamang, pero hindi ganun kalaki. Actually, maganda sila pareho kumuha ng images, and if you don't have the two images shot 
by the Xiaomi 13 and the Samsung Galaxy S23 uh, side by side, hindi mo na talaga mapapansin. Pero if you want like an objective answer kung ma ano mas maganda kumuha ng photos, definitely yung Samsung Galaxy S23. Dahil flagship phone si Xiaomi 13, flagship din ang processor niya. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 12 gig of RAM, 256 gig of storage. At least, yun yung review unit namin. Wala siyang expandable storage. So, kung gusto mo talaga bilhin to, I would suggest that you go with the 256 gig version para hindi mo na kailangan problemahin yung storage space. At para naman sa mga Genshin Impact at Tower of Fantasy enjoyers, wala kayong kailangan problemahin sa Xiaomi 13. Medyo maliit nga lang yung screen. So, medyo mas compact yung paglalaro mo. Pero as far as performance goes, we did not see any issues running these two games on this phone. So software naman, the phone comes with Android 13 out of the box and MIUI 14. Okay lang ang MIUI sa akin, pero talaga hindi ko talaga vibes yung iconography niya. If you take a look at the, uh, the icons and how information is presented in the Xiaomi 13 and the Xiaomi 13 Pro, Medyo may pagka mid-range yung dating sa akin eh. It, that should not be the case if you're paying for a flagship device. Yung talaga yung weakness ni Xiaomi. And I hope they actually try to make the UI grow up a little bit and make it more refined for flagship users. Medyo nagulat din ako na may 4500mAh battery tong Xiaomi 13 which is more than the 3900mAh on the Galaxy S23. Dehado din ang Galaxy S23 pagdating sa charging speeds. 67W fast charging, 50W wireless charging tong Xiaomi 13, which is considerably faster than the Galaxy S23. Pagdating sa overall endurance, okay ang Xiaomi 13, and we were able to get around a day's worth of battery with moderate use. Pag nagsimula ka ng 8am to 9pm, may matitira pang konti yung battery mo sa Xiaomi 13. Pero yung Galaxy S23, medyo deads na siya by that time. So, RIP Samsung Galaxy S23 na ba? While the Xiaomi 13 does a lot of things well, the Galaxy S23 does the same things better. Pero, it will always go down to your budget. Hindi ko pa alam ang presyo na tong Xiaomi 13. As we are recording this, the official price for the Philippines will drop on March 1. But I'm pretty sure uh, this particular phone will be considerably cheaper than this one. So that is our review for the Xiaomi 13. Our review for the Xiaomi 13 Pro will also be dropping at the exact same time. So patapos ito, panoon mo yun. We will be in Mobile World Congress this week. So kung gusto mo malaman lahat ng ba bagong telepono na pupunta sa Pilipinas, you should definitely watch the videos that will be dropping in this channel next week. That's pretty much it. My name is John. Thank you. God bless. Stay safe.